you want to upload an avatar on VRChat but you don't know how, I'm going to show you how to do it in under 5 minutes. Everything you need will be in the video description. So you want to find an avi that you want to download. I'm going to take Rindo and it's downloading right now. So then you need to download VRChat Creator Companion and create a new project. Give it just any name. I'm going to call it Rindo YouTube and then make sure to click on this one. You can ignore this one. You can just open the project. So it's going to look like this when it's open. You want to click on VRChat SDK on the top and click on show control panel. Right here, you want to log into your VRChat account. So when you're logged in, you want to find the avatar you just downloaded. It's going to be called something like your avatar name dot unity package. The icon is going to look something like this. When you found it, just drag and drop it into the folder down here. So when you get this message, you can just click on import. When it's done loading, it's going to look something like this. You want to open the folder and find something called prefab, something like this. Open it and find this file. It's going to be called probably your avatar name dot prefab. Drag and drop it into the hierarchy. You're going to notice that the avi is pretty small. So you're going to double click the blue name in the hierarchy. You're also going to notice that the avi is completely pink. What you want to do is click on this arrow next to the blue name and click on something like body. If you can't see this thing on the right, just click on inspector. You're going to see this thing and this thing is pink. Just right click one of them and click on select material. This down here is all the textures used on your avi. And as you can see, it's all pink. And this is something you don't want. If you want to fix it, just open the browser and look for Poyomi Toon Shader. I'm going to put a download link in the description. When you download it, just find this kind of file and drag and drop it into this folder down here. Once again, you're going to find this message. Just click on import. When it's done loading, hold shift, click on the first material on the left and then click on the last one on the right. You're going to see that everything is going to be selected. Click on the top right shader and type in P O I Y O M I and click on Poyomi outline. Now, as you can see, your avatar isn't pink anymore. If you want to look around, just hold right click and press W A S D. Now, all you got to do is click on the group and look for something like VRC avatar descriptor and find view view position and click on edit. By the way, if you can see VRC avatar descriptor, just scroll down, click on add component and type in VRC avatar descriptor and click on this thing. You're going to find something like this. You can just drag this thing out of the head. Make sure to put this thing between the eyes of the avi. So now you're basically done. Click on VRChat SDK, click on builder and give your avatar a name. Make sure to put it on private. Click capture from scene capture check this thing on the bottom and click build and publish you might need to give the file a name just call it something and click save you're gonna get a few warnings i have no idea what these mean just click on the x same with this one so when it's done loading you can click on content manager and find all the avis you have uploaded find the one you just uploaded and click on open on web so this is where you can see if the avatar is uploaded you're going to see the name the performance rating details and more you can also click on generate imposters yeah this is taking a while i don't know why but you're basically done so this is all you need to upload an avatar on vr chat if you need more help, just let me know in the comments. Just so you know, these were just the basics of uploading an avatar on VRChat. If you want to know more, let me know as well. Bye!